hi and welcome back to my channel it's january 2020 i thought i will start my year with telling you my goals for this year <music> first goal of this year of course is doing booktube yeah i want to do videos and talk about books and i'm really looking forward to it because i really love it i love editing the videos i love talking all about my books around here so i hope this is going to be the thing of 2020 the second goal is to read 100 books and I will make it, there is no doubt about that, because I am reading about two to three books a week. So it's going to be more than that. Not as much more than that, but I think we are going to get there. Yeah. Another goal I am thinking about doing is actually rereading Lord of the Rings. Because this Christmas, last year, yeah, this Christmas, I got a beautiful edition of The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. And it's actually this one. You've probably seen it from other people. I love it. It looks so beautiful. And best of all, it's split into three books. I had a complete edition of Lord of the Rings and it was too big to take it with me on the train and read it there. So I'm really happy about having a smaller versions of that. And I'm going to read this because I love it. I was one of those people who learned Cinderin when I was 10. So I was obsessed and I hope I'm still going to be obsessed with this when I'm rereading it. Another book I want to reread is actually The Record of the Spaceborn View by Becky Chambers. Simply because I think I have rated this too low. I've rated this book 4 out of 5 stars on the first read. I thought it was too slow. I thought that the book was the worst of the Wayfair series. Now, a few months later, I kept thinking about this book because it is slow. It is really slow. There's so little plot in this, but actually it it's in my heart. I have not forgotten the characters. I have not forgotten the stories. And I actually think I have to reread this because it deserves my attention. <laughs> so I'm going to reread this. This is not going to be a hard goal to do. It's going to take me two days and I'm really looking forward to it because right now I'm going to go back and be like, oh my God, I can reread this. Also five star prediction hmm, because I think a four was too low. So I have a kind of specific goal because at the beginning of the year, like on the 6th of January, I started a year with reading Memory Police by Yoko Ogawa. Ogawa? Yeah. And this is actually a book that came out in 1994 and was recently translated into English. And it's a science fiction story. It's kind of Orwellish and it made me cry and it hit me hard and it was so flipping beautiful i am extremely excited about japanese literature so this was a good start and my goal is to actually continue this year with like diving into japanese literature i will check out other books by this author but i also recently bought another book and this is by Haruki Murakami and it's After Dark. I think this is not the book you should be starting with. After I bought this, I actually looked up how should you start reading Haruki Murakami because he wrote so many books. I'm just going to dive in into this because I'm so excited by the synopsis. It's about a woman who is drinking coffee at midnight in, I think, Tokyo. She sees a woman being attacked and she needs to help her. I am so excited about this. So the actual goal this year is to read more Japanese literature. So I hope to get that done. Last two goals of this year are actually to finish some series. The first series I need to finish desperately is the Foundation Trilogy by Isaac Asimov. Because I am reading this since last 
March. I've had this book for probably five years and I have not read it. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Isaac. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to finish this. I have to. I love it. But the thing is, this is a very high sci-fi space opera and I am someone who loves books that are driven by characters and this book keeps up with one character only for like 50 pages. Then it switches to something completely different. I'm kind of annoyed by it because I cannot continue a story of a character. This is actually about the plot. This is about humanity in its whole. And for someone who, who needs to connect with characters, it's difficult to read. I'm so sorry. But this year, um, Apple Plus is going to release a series based on the Foundation trilogy. And I'm getting goosebumps just talking about this. The Foundation as a sci-fi series is gonna be BOMB! Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. So I need to read this before that series ever comes out. <laughs> and I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully this gets done. But yeah, I struggle. <laughs> so the goal is to finish this as soon as possible. Yeah. Another series I want to finish and I want to catch up with before the last books comes out. I want to read the Expand series. And I have actually read the first book last year and it's about my favorite books of 2019. I am going to love this series, I know it already. I love the first book and I'm currently reading the... Oh, oh upside down. <laughs> uh, the second book. No, not, not upside down. What? The, I'm confused with the camera, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, the second book, I'm enjoying it a lot. I needed some time to get into it because it also time jumps between the first and the second book. But it's turning out to be as good as the first book. So I'm excited for the entire series. There's gonna be nine books. The last book of the entire series comes out this year. So I need to get to that before, yeah, before it's over so I can speak with the people about the last book. This is a big goal. It's something I'm kind of afraid of. So we will see if I can finish this. It's ambitious, but it's full of love. So I hope I can finish this. And that's basically it for my 2020 goals. I would say I have some minor goals. I don't want to tell you about because I don't want to commit to those. But one of those, yeah, can I tell? Yeah, okay, I will tell you. Um, one of those things would actually be to read something historical. Because everything I have read historical wise, I hate it. I hate it so much. With burning passion. Yeah, so I think... <laughs> That that genre is just not for me and I want to be proven wrong. So if you have a recommendation for historical fiction I might enjoy, please tell me. Yeah, if it's anywhere around found family tropes, um, uh, queerness, uh, what else? <laughs> yeah, a strong women. And it needs to be somehow historically accurate because if I see something that is not historically accurate, that is like blindly obvious, I'm going to freak out. No, I'm going to stop reading that. Also, if it's connected to space travel, if it's connected to like the space race in the 60s, oh my god recommend that book to me. I'm going to love it. <laughs> so this is maybe specific art of historical fiction I see myself loving, but I don't know yet. So 2020, I'm hoping this year is going to be full of books and full of changes in my life and full of uh, fun and love and uh, yeah, laughing and crying moments because of beautiful fiction. Thank you for watching my videos and thank you for being here. So subscribe to see more videos from me yeah and bye